I've got a carousel on screen and when it slides over you'll notice on the left and right hand side it's actually a little bit blurred and it fades into the background. I've intentionally put a black section background color and I've ensured I've got a bit of a black faded effect. What I'm going to show you, you could do on a carousel, nested carousel, basically anywhere where you want to have that faded effect. And you don't have to go for black, you could go for white as well. So I'm just going to show you that, look, can you see the edges? They're a little bit blurred in, so they fade in a bit. And I've only gone for three. If you wanted to have five posts visible and the ones on the far left and right are faded, that's totally fine because it's with a free bit of code. So when we go over to the container, I've used a loop carousel. And like I said, if you want to do it on a standard carousel, you can do as well. If we go over to the advanced tab and scroll down to custom CSS, I will be dropping this in the video description. That's basically it. That's all you need to do. Over here is where we have our color. So I'm now going to change this to be FF050. You can see now. Now, we've got that faded effect on the far left and right. I've also ensured it's a gradient, so it goes uh, from the right, that color to transparent, and on the other side it goes, oh, well, sorry, on this side it goes from left color to transparent. This is actually pretty important here over the whip. Let me show you what happens if I go and change that 400 to be 40. The faded effect is now much more sharper, and if we change the background of this, you, get, you still get the faded effect, but it feels a little bit too abrupt, right? It's like it's just happening. So if we go back to the CSS and I change that to be 100, it comes in a little bit more. I just found with this particular layout, because I only had three, I felt like the 400 worked a little bit better because the middle one is still okay. The fade is not touching that, but the left and right, you get like a preview of them, but it kind of covers almost over 50% of that particular slide or whatever I had in there. Free bit of code, it's in the video description. So if you want to have that faded effect now on your carousel, and don't forget, I've only used three that I've got currently visible at the moment. If you had six visible, fine. It's always going to be the far left and the far right. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. Catch you soon.